What's going on everybody, Tina here. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can add conversation widgets to your dashboard and what kind of different conversation widget types we have in place. Why would you want to do that in the first place? Well, the money is in the conversation, right? So if you're doing sell by chat, if you've got sales teams going on different social media platforms on Google My Business, you want to track those conversations to make sure you're not missing out on any and to make sure everyone is on top of their game. Also, really great thing is you can utilize filters according to the conversation channel, such as email, SMS, Google My Business, Instagram, live chat, WhatsApp, Facebook calls or voicemails. So if you're implementing those widgets to your dashboard and you pay attention every single day, which you should, which messages are coming in, which messages have been replied to, which messages have not been replied to, which messages have been assigned or not assigned, you will make a lot more money. So let's get into it. All right, you want to cruise over to dashboard on the left hand side, then click on add widget at the top right, then cruise down to conversations. And here you can see the different options in the conversations we have. The total unread messages, very important. Then total unread conversations, total unread conversations today, total unread conversations by channel, which I've just mentioned to you a minute ago, unread conversations by assigned team members. So you can assign specific channels to specific team members. Let's say Joey is responsible for all Instagram messages coming in. Claudia is responsible for all emails coming in and so on and so forth. You can see the unread conversations logged in user. You can add a widget which shows you the conversation distribution by assigned team members. You can add a widget which tells you the assigned conversations. You can see the total unassigned conversations. You can also add a widget which shows you unassigned conversations by channel. Then we have last message distribution by channels and new conversation started this week. As a reminder, at the top, you can choose to visual how you want the widgets to be represented. So there's numeric, there's a donut, there's the line, we have the bar and the horizontal bar. Let's select numeric for the first one, total unread messages. Then you can configure this. You can change the title if you like or keep it. I would suggest you keep it. You can select if you want to show the sum or the count. Under advanced settings, you can select last message date or updated on or created on. Then you can also select the date range override. So now it's set to this particular date, but if you wanted to change it, you can select yesterday, for example, and then hit save. Now you can see that widget added to the bottom here. If you wanted to move it, you can just drag and drop it to the top, which I would recommend because it's one of the most profitable channels, your conversations, right? And this is how all of the conversation widgets would look like in real. So here we have the different types of visual representations, as well as the numbers shown divided into the channels here, call, email, review, web chat, custom email, and so on and so forth. Down here, you can see the distribution by assigned team member. You can see the names, Jessica, Jenny, Eliza, and so on. You can see the total unassigned conversations, which is a lot, right, in this example. So you better get on it and assign these conversations to some of your sales reps. Then the total unread conversations is also very important because if you don't read your emails, if you don't read your Google My Business messages, your WhatsApp messages and so on and so forth, you are losing out on a lot of business. So I hope you're getting started right now to implement those conversation widgets into your dashboard and make more money. I will see you in the next video.